Welcome to NASA's Summer of Innovation lesson videos. I'm Julie Muffler, and this is Finding Impact Craters lesson from the Earth Space Science theme and the Remote Sensing Unit of NASA's Summer of Innovation. The Remote Sensing Unit consists of four lessons, a world of change, Earth versus Mars, finding impact craters, and water systems. This video will focus on the finding impact craters lesson. Pictured here are our moon and our planet Earth. One can easily make out the impact craters on the moon, but does the Earth have impact craters? Can we see them? Yes, the Earth does have impact craters. Some are easily seen, as is this one in Arizona. It is one mile wide and 570 feet deep. Other terrestrial craters can best be seen from space. Erosion patterns and vegetation often cover the visual clues used in identifying craters. Many people know that craters cover the surface of the moon. In fact, impact craters appear on all rocky terrestrial planets and many of their moons. Shown on this map are approximately 140 individual impact craters identified by researchers. In the Finding Impact Craters activity, the students will study satellite images that show possible evidence of impact events. Provided along with this lesson plan are related resources, an assessment rubric, worksheets, summary, and more. Let's take a look at the teacher preparation page. On this page, a list of student workshops is provided so that you may have those ready prior to the lesson. You'll also need to make sets of the Landsat images. Note that it's suggested that you give students the experience of making craters of their own. The link on the teacher preparation page, craters.pdf, takes you to this activity. Once your students have created their own craters in this activity, they are ready to put their knowledge to use in identifying impact craters in the satellite images. The images you and your students will study are from Landsat 7 an Earth-observing satellite that was launched in April 1999. The Global Survey mission continues with Landsat 7 as the latest in a long history of land remote sensing spacecraft, spanning 33 years of imaging, starting with the launch of Landsat 1 in 1972. The image shown is an example of one of the seven images you will need to copy for your students to study. From the activity cover page, you can find a link to the materials and resources section. There you will see a listing of the images that you will need to reproduce for your students. Each group of four students should have a set of the seven images. It is recommended that you laminate these for future use. As the students work in teams to study each image, they are guided by the questions on the student sheets. These questions point out clues that they can use in their discussions the teams will present their findings to the class at the conclusion of the activity. Make sure you familiarize yourself with the answers by reading the information provided on the teacher reference sheet linked from the lesson plan. Some of the images are impact craters and some are not. What about this image you saw earlier in the video? Do you think it is an impact crater? No, this is an image of Mount St. Helens. An additional activity that you may want to use with your students before studying or after studying the Landsat images comes from the remote sensing lesson entitled World of Change. This activity is called Paint by Numbers and it engages the students in the process of satellite communication by relaying images in pixel form. Thank you for joining us as we explore together in NASA's Summer of Innovation.